162 billion US dollars. According to the Interna International Data Corporation, the market for these VR headsets will grow from today 5 billion to 162 billion US dollars in just three to four years. So everyone who doubts that this will become a household item, remember, these things did not exist 11 years ago. Virtual reality and the digital revolution will become crucial for any company. Those who embrace it will thrive, those that won't will struggle. One group will be hit by the impact of VR is surely the banking industry. I mean, online banking is a great thing, but it's not always a great thing to use. So VR is going to change this. Well, they tell me that I belong to the group of the silver surfers. Well, I don't have no clue why. But I don't like my banking experience that much. But one group that is even pickier about this is the millennials. So let me tell you something about the millennials. Actually, Mark, why don't I tell them about millennials? <laughs> hey, hey, typical millennials, they know what they want. Yeah, we play a huge part in today's economy. We are set to be 50% of the US workforce by 2020 and 75% by 2025. We're hardworking, we're motivated, and we're tech savvy. So if we don't like what we see or we don't find what we're looking for, we'll click away and go elsewhere. It's not personal, it's just business. I mean, losing just one customer is a big loss for any bank. Yeah, so imagine losing an entire generation. Well, it's going to become more and more difficult for banks to satisfy their customers. Creologics understand these challenges. We're in this business for 20 years. I mean, actually, exactly 20 years ago, we started with the first online banking in Switzerland together with Credit Suisse. And today, we have about 450 banks worldwide. Virtual reality can turn, transform uninspiring, complicated numbers into an ex exciting personal user experience. We will show you our vision of virtual reality banking today. Esther, please. My pleasure. So let me just connect here my VR banking, and in a sec, you'll see my personal financial space. So this is everything that's got to do my financial life, a 360. You see all of the businesses or merchants that I've made a payment to. Each individual bubble you see is an existing payment. Each transparent bubble is a payment that I have yet to make, so it's predicting for me. I also see money coming in, which I'm much more fond of, and there's an amount from my mom, so let's click at it and see the details. And oh, wow, thank you, mom. Now, if I go a level down, I see my budgets as well, and everything's green, which of course means it's all great, um, except for this one, which is kind of red. So let's look at the details. This is, as I was suspecting, fashion. If I look at the details, I can see that the money is flowing in through all these merchants. And let's look at one of the transactions in particular. So let's pick this one, for instance. And oh my God, it's like over 100 pounds on a T-shirt in H&M. I'm pretty sure this is a designer collaboration or something. So, I mean, let's click away and let's look at my balance instead. You see my account down here. You see it going into the future, being predicted. This is a transparent line. And you can see this huge green part. So this is money that I have in access to what I need day to day. And my bank is trying to tell me something with the slide bulb. So I'm going to click on it and see green energy. How would my bank know that I'm interested in green energy? Well, that's a recommendation engine based on big data information. Oh, I see. Okay, that's cool. Now, before I actually invest in this, there's one thing that I wanted to check, because I am, of course, living in London, so I'm sharing a flat, but I'd actually like to move in, in, into my own flat. Um, so I'm going to do a what-if scenario, but actually, since I'm here, I'm just going to change the background first, because that's just the way I am. So let's go for, ooh, moon dust. Oh, so that's pretty cool. So now back to where we were. Um, what-if scenario. I'm renting a flat. I think 1,400 pounds and 2,800 pounds for deposit. It sounds about right. So let's add this what-if scenario. Now, if I go down here, there's been a what-if scenario added. And I can see that below, my current account balance and the predicted balance going into the future has changed. And I can see the expenses I would be making renting my own flat. So seeing this makes me think maybe I shouldn't do I shouldn't move in on my own just now. I'm going to make this disappear and instead 
I think I'm gonna invest. So let's go there, let's click tell me more. And oh wow, green energy indeed. So this is really nice. And I can see the portfolio that's recommended. I can see my top holdings. I can see my top sectors I'd be investing in. I can see the performance chart below here as well. And everything's in the growth, which is just the way I like it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and invest. And it's easy as that. Well, isn't that amazing? I mean, Esther is probably the first Minellian in the world who invested in a fund. The bankers in here really love you, Esther. So obviously, virtual reality is not going to replace online banking, but it will become a major part of it. This solution, you see, is ready to run, and it's available on any PFM system and can be easily integrated also in core banking system. We really encourage you to move on. That reminds me of a saying of John F. Kennedy. He said, well, the time to fix the roof is when the sun is shining. So don't wait for stormy weather. Act now. We really wish you success moving forward. See you in a digital world and seeing us on the booth. Thank you very much.